So let's talk about manifesting today. I want to share with you some tips that will help you manifest clients for your spiritual business. So one thing I want to share with you on manifesting, I just love the topic of manifesting. It's so fun. The more and more you come into alignment with your mission, the more you're going to be assisted with synchronicities, signs from the universe, guidance, um, wisdom that you receive that needs to be shared. And also the more and more you're going to come into alignment with your soulmate clients, but you also can have a lot of resistance up that's keeping you from them. And I want to speak about that today by talking to you about some really um, basic principles in manifesting that are going to help you come into more alignment, drop the resistance, so you can allow the clients that are meant to work with you to come into your environment and be received by you. And so the first thing I want to share with you, the tip for today is if you are holding your clients or your potential clients in this scenario on a pedestal, thinking that it is this big deal, that it's just going to be so, you know, maybe it's hard to get them or maybe it's going to be, you know, you know, super amazing when you get them or it's going to be, you know, something that is just like such a miracle in your life and you're holding it on some kind of a pedestal. So if you're holding landing clients for your business as something that appears to be on a pedestal, what you're really doing is you're holding it apart from yourself. So if you watch Esther Hicks, one of the favorite, my favorite things that I hear her say is that it's just as easy to create a castle as it is a button. What does that mean? It means that as easy as you think it is to create a button, that's how easy it is to create a castle, meaning the things that you really, really want that you think are really, really big, and you can extend this out to the relationship, the money, the dream car, the dream house, the dream clients, the dream business, whatever it is. If you continue to look at it, as a big deal like if you hold that big castle as this thing that's super hard to reach or far away from you or you put it up on this pedestal what you're really doing is you're creating a bigger gap between you and it you're saying it's harder to achieve it's harder to reach or it's further away from you but when you start to see it as important to you as it is the button so to speak then you can start to see how the energy around it softens. It's no longer this like big hairy deal in order to land what it is that you want in your life. And again, this can apply to your clients like in this video, but you can use this principle in all areas of your life. The more you hold on to something as if it's this big castle and it's really hard to create a big castle, the more you're going to keep it from you. But the more you perceive it as a button, as easy as it would be to create a button, then you're shortening the gap. You're drawing it in. You're putting it on your level. You're energetically coming into alignment with it. So one of the quotes I really love that I stumbled on, and I'm not sure who said it, otherwise I would definitely, you know, mention them here, but the quote is, your ships come in over a don't care sea. And so this is really speaking to that. It's almost as if, it's just another thing. A castle is just another thing. It's just like a button. It's just a thing. It's just nothing that is, it's nothing that's too big for you. It's nothing that's too grandiose. It's nothing that's too far away from you. It's nothing that's too special, you know? So whether you relate this to money, relationships, career, house, car, dream business, whatever you want to relate to, it's, it's nothing that's so big that you're holding it outside of yourself. It's almost as if, you don't even care, but it's not that you don't care. It's that you've released the attachment to it that you don't necessarily quote, you definitely don't need it. You've released the attachment to it. 
and you're not holding it as this big thing that you really, really care about it. So the less you care, the less resistance you have. This is why people can be looking for a relationship and as long as they're looking and seeking for a relationship, they never seem to find it. But the moment they stop looking is the moment somebody pops into their experience. This has been the same scenario for me. As soon as I stopped focusing on the money or the clients and I re I didn't hold it outside of myself as this big thing, it was just now the natural next step for me to have money rolling in and clients rolling in and the business of my dreams and all of that. It was just natural. It just became natural to think that these were things that were not outside of myself, that they were, that they're not being held on a pedestal outside of myself. They're just the next right step. And to be honest, if you want to relate this to your clients, landing clients, if you have this attitude when you're on the sales call, like literally like you do fall in love with your soulmate clients and you do have a desire to work with them, but you're not attached to them. Like you've released all neediness energy and you've released any kind of sense of energy that's like, if they sign up with me, it's going to be the most amazing thing ever. And it's just this such a far-fetched dream come true that, you know, it's just on this pedestal. It's just so far away from me. You know, like if you enter a sales call with that kind of energy, you really are more attached to the outcome than you would like to admit. And so detaching from the outcome, releasing the need, releasing the importance of it, recognizing that you're being guided and everything's working out for you. And it's just the next next natural right step as, um, as you work on your soul business that clients are gonna show up and that the right clients are gonna be perfect for you. They're gonna show up, they're gonna love to pay you, they're gonna love to sign up, they're gonna get amazing results. They're gonna share great testimonials with you. You're gonna have a joyful experience working together. And these are just the next right things that are popping into your experience. They're not grandiose. They're not above the top. They're not too extreme. They're not out of reach. They're not being held outside of you. They're not on a pedestal. You're not looking up to them and like, please, like, this is what I need now. This is just, if you would just come into my experience now, money, car, house, relationship, clients, that is the kind of energy you don't want to have if you're trying to manifest clients in your business. So what does this mean? It means that you have to really release the attachments. I re really have to release the attachments and bring them down in level of importance. And this is can be tricky if you're coming from a lack mindset or if you're coming from a limited belief system because the limited belief system and the lack mindset is going to believe that I need this client. I need this client. I need that, this money. I need, you know, like you really need it. It's really, really important. It's really, really important. There's a lot of neediness energy and there's a lot of importance on it. And so what you have to do is diffuse the importance. You have to recognize that, um, that you are doing that first and foremost so that you can diffuse that energy. You need to take your focus off of getting a client all together. Just like when you've experienced a, someone popping into your experience, maybe a relationship, it was when you removed your attention from it altogether. Because if you are approaching it from that needy energy or that high importance kind of energy, then you're what you're doing is you're you're broadening the gap between you and it. It's going to feel like the most natural thing ever when clients flow into your experience. It's not going to feel like some pie in the sky dream that you're just, you're finally tapping into. If you're having, if it seems like some pie in the sky dream and something that's so important to you that you must, must have it um, because you're holding it at such a high level of importance, what you're really doing is you're holding it away from you. And so I just wanted to pop in here with this. I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a manifesting series coming up is, you know, weaving some manifesting strategies into the Soul Line Success Series, because obviously, um, as you step onto the path of being in alignment with your purpose, 
your frequency is going to increase, which means things are going to be manifesting for you quickly and more easily, or it could go the opposite way for you if you are not paying attention to what you're doing and you're letting your focused attention just run rampant and things like that. So as your vibration frequency, your vibration and frequency increase, it's going to be easier and easier for you to build momentum and manifest with greater ease if you understand some of these basic principles of manifesting. And so it only makes sense that it's time to weave some of these in here for you. And I'm excited to do that because it's one of my favorite topics. It's it's the most fun throughout the day being able to co-create with the universe as you come into alignment with your mission and your purpose and your dream lifestyle. And so I can't wait to share these with you. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you're ready to build your soul aligned business that is in complete alignment with your mission and your lifestyle goals, then check out the masterclass that's also below this video wherever you're watching it. And I will pop in here with you with another episode very soon. Namaste.